page 31 of your accent book. Hi guys, let's talk about page 31. We're gonna start with line 120. All right, so first of all, look up in that green box at the top of the page. Um, this is kind of not really a new uh, time signature, um, but it's a different way that sometimes you'll see it. Um, sometimes you'll see this fancy looking C, uh, but that stands for common time or four four. All right, so that's kind of how they used to write it back in the old days. Um, and so sometimes you'll see it both ways. You'll see the 4-4 version and you'll see the fancy C. So just something to be aware of, all right? All right, so let's take a look at line 120 and we'll start by looking at A, all right? Uh, check out key signature two here, three flats. So you have quite a few A flats that you'll be working with um, in this line. So make sure you remember those or if you need to mark them in, um, you can do that. But I would just try to remember so that you get used to that when you see this key signature in, you know, real music, or not real music, it is real, band music, all right, other music. Okay, so let's check out our rhythm. One, take two, take three, four. One, take two, take three, four. One, take two, take three, four, take one, two, three, then repeat. All right, so I'm trying to be really precise even with my counting of getting the short notes when you have the staccatos. And then take a look at measure three. That quarter note, there is no staccato. So let's go ahead and make it long. All right, make that one full value so that it sounds different from the others. That's kind of picky, but I think you guys can do it. Okay, all right, so let me get my metronome set. I'm going at 80. So one, take, two, take, three, four. One, take, two, take, three. Four, one, take, two, take, three, four, take, one, two, three. Now, good news is, is that might be a little quick for your fingers, but look at your eighth notes. The first four notes of measures one, two, and three are the same. You get the G, A flat, B flat, then skips to G before you go back and land like in measure one on those eighth notes. So G, A flat, B flat, G. All right, so just might want to practice that pattern a few times. G, A flat, B flat, G. All right, G, A flat, B flat, G. Because measures one, two, and three, it starts off the same. You do have some different endings though, right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play for you a version of line A. If you're ready for those eighth notes, join me. If not, hit pause, maybe practice it a little bit slower or keep working on those eighth note fingers, G, A flat, B flat, G. Uh, and play through those a few times so that you can uh, join me, all right? Here's line A, or you can also play line B. Uh, I'll talk about that one in a minute, and we can play the duet together. One, two, three. <laughs> designed to go allegro pretty quick. All right, so now let's check out line B. Same key signature, you don't see an A flat though until measure four, so again, just tuck that away and remember it so that you don't forget that for later. And we're going kind of slow, so these half notes should feel pretty long. One, three, one, three. And then look at measure three. One, three, four, te, one, two, three, all right, so full value notes until you get to those two little chord notes there in measure four, those are gonna be short. All right, so take a look at it, check out notes just in case. Again, remember, A flat in measure four, and if you're ready, I'll play line B. You can go and play line A, and we can have a duet if you like. One, two, three. <laughs> Another kind of fun and pretty one. Uh, check your key signature. We've gotten rid of the A flats. 
So A naturals, I think we do see a couple of them in here. You might want to go through and find them and just touch them. A natural, I see one at the end of the first line. I see the second odor line too, A natural. Okay, the other thing you want to look out for in this uh, piece is the long notes. Like you see how you have some of the ties and the slurs. So just kind of work out your math there, like in full measures, three and four. One, two, two, rest, three. Okay, we're also in three, right? So no fours. One, two, two, three. And that happens again in the second line too. So just make sure you're holding the ties the correct uh, amount of time. Again, for example, see the one at the end of the first line and the second line, a dotted half note plus a quarter note. One, three, two, or the end on beat two there on the second line. All right, so just make sure you're really thinking through those long notes, okay? Don't cheat them. Good news is each time you have that, you're silent on beat two. So if you just count in your head when you get to two, stop, okay? All right, we also have pickups here. So I'm gonna say one, two, three, one, so that I can breathe on two and we can play those pickups right on beat three, okay? So check out rhythm, check out notes. There are some skips in there you wanna be aware of, like the quarter note starting in full measure five, D, F, B flat, E flat, G, B flat. So some skips in there to work out when you're note naming and fingering. Okay, check that out. All right, but I'll play you my version of line 121. Should be pretty easy. One te, two te, one te, two te, one te, two te, one te, two, one te, two te, one te, two te, one te, two te, one te, two. Repeat. Right now, no key signature on this one, but take a look at your flats. There are three of them: B flat, E flat, and look at all those A flats. Okay, remember the accidental carries through the whole measure. So measure one, all of those A's are flat. Okay, and then be really, really careful. Like, look at the second to last measure A flat, B flat, C, A flat again. Okay, so make sure you get all those A flats in there. And that means oboes, you might want to be careful about which F you're using because you do have a moment there, that second to last measure, where the last note is A flat, first note in the last measure is F. So be prepared there because you can't use a left F. Okay, no double pinkies. All right. So go through, check out your notes again. Watch how there are some skips. Look in measure two, A flat F, E flat C, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat F, E flat C. Right. Ooh. Let me see if I can get that time. One, two, 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 say it, it goes. A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat F, E flat C, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat F, E flat, A flat, A flat G, E flat F, F, E flat C, A flat B flat C, A flat F, G, A flat. Lots of, lots of flats in there, all right? But again, just good for brain and fingers to say all of those flats so you remember all the A flats, all right? So check it out. If you need to slow it down, that's fine, or practice those skips. All right, but I'll play you my version of 122, and I'm going to do it with the repeat, too. Here's one, two, 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 one. <laughs> Oh, that one can be really fun as a 
the tempo challenge. You can see how fast you can get, all right? But keep it with your metronome. All right, and finally, let's look at line 123. Only but goody, really beautiful, amazing grace. Check out your key signature again because we're sticking with those A flats, all right? Um, another thing on this one, again, just be careful with your long notes. Remember, half notes get two, dotted half notes get three. You do have some of the ties, like at the end of the first line, you have a dotted half note three plus a regular half note two, so make sure you're ready to change on beat three, okay? Um, the other rhythm I want you to take a look at is the one at the beginning of line two, and you'll see it again, the one, te, three, te. Okay, make sure you're getting that dotted chord note rhythm correct. One, te, three, te. Okay, it happens again in line two as well, right? So just be really careful with rhythm here and just make it beautiful. It's amazing grace. All right, so check it out. There are some skips too. Think through your note names there. Remember, A flats when you get there. All right, I'm going to play my version of Amazing Grace. Again, I'm going to go one, two, three, one. Breathe on two. Pick up note on three. All right. One, two, three, one. <laughs> arpeggios too which are really good just for the technique of your fingers okay so check those out too as a little extra challenge all right hope you guys had fun see ya